All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do the homework called Collisions Card Online. So first thing is Google this, Collision Cards Interactive, and pick the first link, and then you can full screen it. All right, so what we have here are these two cards, which you can change the initial position of. You can also change their initial velocities by clicking on here to change it. And um, you can also change their mass. Okay. And let's just run this one here. Let's um, see how this works. Hit start. All right. What we just saw there was an elastic collision. If we change that to an inelastic collision and run that. Okay. So do you see the difference? That in elastic, they bounce apart. And in inelastic, they stick together. So that will help you answer preliminary question number three. And for number two, think about um, these as being vectors, velocity. And momentum, because it equals mass times velocity, is therefore also a vector, so it can be negative. And let's do this scenario number one. All right, so we have equal masses, one object at rest, another colliding into it. So let's go over back to here. We'll make the red one be at rest. And so that's zero. Okay, the other one colliding into it, it's going to be inelastic, and let's see what happens. Okay, let's pause that and reset that. So we're going to plug these numbers into the chart that's on your paper. So let's go back to that. Okay, so the mass for the red object is one kilogram. The blue object is also one kilogram. The velocity for the red one is zero. And the blue one was negative 5 meters per second. So to calculate the momentum, we're going to do mass times velocity equals momentum. So 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times negative 5 is negative 5. Add these two together, we get a total momentum of the two of them being negative 5. Um, so afterwards, let's run that. Here we go. And pause. We can see here that afterwards they each had a velocity of negative 2.5 meters per second. So here we are. For the after part, we can say 1 kilogram, 1 kilogram, and the red one had negative 2.5 meters per second. The blue one had a velocity of negative 2.5 meters per second. Oops, that was, let me fix that. And when we multiply these, we get 1 kilogram times negative 2.5 meters per second is negative 2.5 meters per second. And 1 kilogram times negative 2.5 meters per second is negative 2.5. Um, actually, you know what, I, I wasn't careful with my units here. So we need to use the correct units here of kilogram times meters per second and kilograms times meters per second and over here I should also have kilogram times meters per second okay so now we add them up negative 2.5 plus negative 2.5 is negative 5 so we can see that in this particular case the momentum before and the momentum after are the same so I'm going to have you then try scenario two on your own, where they have equal masses, equal speeds, head-on collision, inelastic. Let's set that up. Okay, so for equal masses, we did we have one kilogram, but we could do two kilograms. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to hit reset. So two kilograms, two kilograms, that also works. And we're going to have them collide into each other head-on. So let's do five meters per second and negative five meters per second. And then go ahead and hit start. Um, and you can see what happens during that collision. I'm going to um, help you fill in the chart, and then you can take over from there. Okay, so before, the red one was 2 kilograms. The blue one is 2 kilograms. Velocity is uh, positive 5 meters per second. Blue is negative 5 meters per second. So we automatically know that the momentum before they collide is going to be 2 times 5, which is 10 kilogram meters per second. And 2 times negative 5 is negative 10 kilogram meters per second. 
Um, and we can also add up to find the total momentum. 10 plus negative 10 is 0. Now one thing I forgot to do in our first scenario is to write a description of the outcome. So we can write that the red one um, gained momentum. The blue one lost momentum. How do we know that? Because we can see that they slow down, or that the blue one slowed down, and the red one sped up. The blue one lost momentum. And we can also point out that they um, had the same final velocity, because they were stuck together. Okay, so I'll let you take over from here. Keep in mind that you have some questions to answer on the back.